Come on! Let's get this over with. You don't have to come, Jack. Oh, thanks a lot. The headmistress wants to see us as a family. She don't like me. Well, it's not surprising if you're going to go breaking things. Big gobs put her against me. Look, let's get something straight this time. One person broke the computer. You. And only one person's able to put things right by behaving themselves. Who is it? Me. You. So no excuses. No blaming the other kids. You're drinking in the last chance saloon. Is that where you were last night when you came home drunk? Get in. <laughs> we know that things haven't been easy for you, Andy. And sometimes, when things are difficult, we want to hit out at somebody or something. But usually it's the wrong person. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yes, Mrs. Pritchard. You've got a great chance to make a fresh start with Mr. and Mrs. Sugden. I'm sorry for all the trouble I've caused them. And I'm sorry for the trouble I've caused you, Mrs. Pritchard, and the other pupils. Yes. Good, Andy. We have a legal duty to provide Andy with an education. And I have discussed the matter with the governors, members of staff, Andy's social worker, and the LEA. So he can come back? We don't seem to have any other viable option. He won't let you down. I hope not. We're very grateful, aren't we, Jack? Well, like Mrs Pritchard says, they've got a legal duty. Uh, there is one condition. Anything you say. Given his special needs, we don't think he can be taught in the normal classroom environment. Why not? Well, let's just say there are too many distractions. So what happens then? We've reluctantly concluded that we'll have to provide him with an individual tutor. But that'll mark him out as different, stigmatise him. It'll also stretch our resources to the limit. But I'm afraid that's what I, we, feel is in everyone's interest. That's unfair. Let's see how it goes. You've been fiddling with that all afternoon. Are you timing me? Any road, you're supposed to be undercoat in the pantry. Yeah, I know. It's like sitting on a time bomb, wondering if it's going to go off. He'll be all right. He can't get into much trouble with a teacher all to himself. Well, we'll soon find out. Look at them. Picture of brotherly love. Do you have a good day? What's for tea? Oh, we won't be ready for ages yet. You can help finish painting the pantry if you like. I will. No sorts of telly. Well, I hope you've had a better day than him. It was all right. I'll go and get changed. Hey, hey, hang on. Hang on, what's this? Nothing. You've not been scrapping, have you? You've all been pulling at me. Who? All of them. They're saying they're on the teacher's pet now. 